everyone, it's Miss Amy from Camden Public Library. Let's make this great uh, banner. You'll need some book pages, or you can use scrapbook paper, you can use magazine paper. Magazine paper uh, does, it's trickier because it's very thin uh, when we make these, and it, it, it's not, it doesn't hold up as well. So, um, uh, book page uh, really works great. So if you have an old book that you can cut up, it's fabulous. So you need however many that you want. I have this at three and a half by whatever the text was of a standard adult book. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half. And I'm going to fold them all in half like that. Now you'll need um, some thread. This is uh, embroidery thread or crochet th uh, cotton thread. You can use ribbon, whatever you'd like. That doesn't make a difference. Um, and I'm going to leave it right on there. But what I'm going to do so that I get a nice bottom is I'm going to I'm going to fold it, but don't crease it. Okay. So I'm going to fold it like this. I'm going to take my scissors. I'm going to go right from the corner. Okay, so there I got a nice, um, nice even fold. Now I use that as my template. Put all the folds at the bottom. I've got it right on there. Now I can just cut those off and they're all gonna be exactly the same. Okay, so there, now all of them are the same like that, okay? And now I'm going to use a punch that I have. This happens to be the punch. Uh, it's longer, so it fits really well, but you don't have to use that. You can use anything. You could cut it with a stencil, um, or you can choose not to cut anything out at all. So I'm going to line it up. I've got two or three of them. I'm going to Punch it. Okay. So now I can take that out. There we go. And I can do the rest. And in case you're wondering, this is an EK tool uh, and it locks and it has uh, different options uh, of butterfly uh, if you're curious and you like the butterfly. Now that I have them all cut out, what I'm going to do is start stringing them. So I'm not going to. I'm going to put glue along the center and then I'm going to go down and around so that I can glue it all together. But it's really important that it's glued on the fold. Then I'm not going to disconnect my string because I don't know how long I need my string to be. Uh, I'm going to leave a little bit more than uh, the width of the banner. And then I'm going to put that string right in the center on the fold, right on top of the glue, and I'm going to fold it down and seal it. And it seals that right in. And then I'm going to move down and do the same thing with the next one. So glue on the fold, down and around. Put, leave some space, put the string in, fold it over, right here, like that, and seal it. And there's the next one. And I continue until I have them all on. And then you can hang up this great banner. They store really nicely and they just look so pretty. And I did round the corners on the top of this one, but you don't have to do that. I did not do that on this one and that's okay. You could color, you could add color if you want. Happy creating and I hope you have fun making this book page banner.